Most people waste months building automations no one wants, but I built a system that finds automations people already want to buy and then makes them even better. It's called the Reddit Intelligence System. It's basically a cheat code for discovering automation ideas that are proven in demand and that you can actually start making money from today. It saved me hundreds of hours of guesswork and helped me scale my AI agency to over $10,000 a month and sell my workflows to thousands of customers. First starting, I had no idea what to sell. This system fixed that. First, it finds the top performing automations on Reddit, then creates suggestions of how I can make them better. And then it sends everything over to me on a nice Slack message. So by the end of this video, you will have a system that tells you which automations you can start selling to clients right away. I'll also leave a link in the description if you wanna get instant access to the automation we build today and every resource I use to build and sell systems just like this. So before we get into the actual N8N workflow, let me just give you a high level overview of exactly what the system does. So the first thing it does is it just scrapes the top posts from the N8N subreddit and then it filters them by date. So only post in the last seven days and then by a certain amount of upvotes. It's also gonna make sure that the post is actually talking about an automation that someone built. And then from there, we're just gonna use ChatGPT to actually analyze the automation idea to create a little summary, to identify the business potential or impact this could have on a business. It's going to create a score for how unique this idea is. And it's even going to give you the target audience. And this is key because this is basically gonna tell you who is interested in a system like this. Who can you package this up and sell this to? And then from there, it's basically just going to give you some key insights into what makes this automation effective. Next, we just run this through a another ChatGPT node to create these enhancement ideas or basically how can we make this existing automation even better. So now we're not just copying an automation that already exists, we're actually improving upon it. And last, super simple, we're just gonna send a message to ourselves in Slack. So you could basically just set this to run on a schedule like every week and you can just get a brand new list of automation ideas directly in your Slack channel. So I'm just gonna run this through once just to show you exactly what the system does. And the reason I built this system is because I kept seeing the same problem over and over again. And it's basically that there's a lot of people who are really interested in AI automations and starting an AI agency, but they're not really sure where to start. I see this like question all the time. They're like, okay, great. Like I can learn these technical skills, but what should I build first? Like, how do I sell this to a client? Like who's interested in what? It's really hard to know. Reddit is a goldmine for ideas and effective automation builds. And so instead of trying to figure it out yourself, you can actually just let the upvotes tell you what people are interested in. And so if I come over into my Slack channel now, you can see that this is the output. Basically we have one post, a link to the post. We have a summary of what the automation does. We have an assessment of why this automation might be effective. We have the audience like startup founders, solopreneurs, digital marketers, et cetera. So you know exactly who you could sell the system to, the business potential, a uniqueness score, some key insights, and then last, some ideas for how you could actually make the system better. And basically I just set this to run once a week. And so you can have 10 new ideas in your Slack channel, like every Monday. So this one is actually cool. And I think you could sell this to a lot of clients. I built a content generator AI using N8N that takes daily news updates from big news sites and repurposes them for WordPress blog articles. So you always have the latest trending news in your niche and you can kind of create these blog posts on autopilot. So you can see here, high business potential, uniqueness score, and then even some enhancements, right? Integrate real time topic sentiment analysis to prioritize content creation. So basically like what are people saying about this topic will let you know how you can actually improve your blog post. Exactly how the system works. If you're new to N8N, and I'll zoom in here, the first thing that we have here is just a schedule trigger. So basically you can find this, you can either hit tab on your keyboard or you can come up to the plus here and you would just type in schedule. Basically a trigger is the thing that kicks off your workflow, right? This is how it gets started. So inside the schedule trigger, this is really simple. I just have the interval set to weeks and I have weeks between set to one and this triggers every Sunday at midnight. You could set this to whatever time you want. If you want this at 7 a.m. when you get into the office, change it to 7 a.m. And then from there, there's a really handy Reddit node already built inside of N8N. And so in order to get access to this, you do have to connect your Reddit account. I'm not gonna go through that today, but there are plenty of videos and documentation that show you exactly how to do it. But basically you just come up to here, click create new credential and put in your client ID and your client secret. This Reddit node is actually great. I just have the resource set to post. So basically it's going to grab posts. I have the operation set to get many. And so there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can create new posts, you can delete posts from your own account and things like that. If I just set get many and I can choose the subreddit that I want this to come from. And so if I come over to Reddit, this is just the R N8N subreddit, which is great for anybody interested in AI and automation. This actually has a lot of free templates and free automation workflows that you can download. And this is a great way to get ideas if you're new to AI and automation and you're trying to figure out what to build. So from here, I just put in the subreddit name, which is just N8N and you could do return all, but that's way too many. I don't recommend it. And I just set the limit here to 25. Again, you can choose whatever number that you want, but remember the greater this number, the more processing time your system's gonna go through. I just set the category to top posts. You should be really familiar to you if you've used Reddit before, top posts, hot posts, new posts, rising posts, et cetera, et cetera. So I just set this to top posts. And then after it runs, this is the output here. So 
again, if you're new to N8N, getting familiar with these three kind of panels here is gonna be really important to you. This panel on the left is the input. So this is basically what is coming into the active node. And this is right now just has the schedule trigger. But as we move on in the flow, you'll actually have access to everything that comes before the actual node that you're in. So right now, this is just a schedule. We don't really need to grab any information from here. This is where we choose all the variables and kind of set up the node that we're in. And then this is the output from the specific node. So you can see here, we basically have the subreddit that is from the actual text of the post, who the author was. And if you go into the schema view, this is actually kind of a nicer way to look at things. Although technically behind the scenes, everything is actually running in JSON. And this is going to be important the further you get into automations. So we have the schema view. You can basically see like we have upvotes, downvotes, the ratio of upvotes. Here's the total upvotes right here. If any of the media, like if there's like an image or something attached to it. And so you basically have access to a ton of data coming from Reddit, which is super, super cool. And you can see here that this found 25 items for us, which is basically the number that we set. And then I just have a code note. I know code notes can seem scary, but they're actually one of the most powerful things you can use in N8N. I am not a coder. I have no background in code. I don't know what any of this means, but I know how to set these up. And I'm going to show you right now how you can set these up too. The biggest thing to understand when working on code nodes is basically these three panels. And the way I think about it is what data do you have and what do I want it to look like at the end of it? And the code node is basically just the step in the middle that allows you to transform one set of data into something else. And so you can see this in action here, right? Basically, I have this insanely long list of fields coming from Reddit and I only need a few things, right? I want to get the title. I want to get the main body content. I want to get how many upvotes it has. I want to get the URL for the post and things like that, right? And so I, I don't need all of this, right? The things on the right are the things I want. And so here's what I have. Here's what I want. And now I just need to create code that can help me do that. So the easiest way and the way that I create code all the time for N8N and automation workflows is the simplest way. I will literally go over here to this copy button. I will click copy and I will come into ChatGPT and I will say, I have this data and I will literally just paste this in. And I will say, I need to create an N8N and the code is technically in JavaScript. So I'll just be really clear. JavaScript code node that extracts the post title, author, body content, URL, and anything else you want. That's it. I will just say something like this and I'll just send this off. Right. And then ChatGPT is basically going to tell me the code that I need to extract that data. And now you can see that this looks a little bit different than what I had because I actually asked it to do a few more things. Right. And if we look in here, there were like a couple other things. I was basically just asking it to filter, right? Calculate the timestamp for one week ago. So I basically want to exclude any posts that are not within those past week because I just only want things that are current. And then I also want to skip posts that had too few upvotes. So if there were less than five upvotes, although we're filtering by top posts. So like in theory, we shouldn't have anything with less than five, but this is just kind of a backstop. And then from here, we're confirming that the post is actually about automation and workflows, which if it's in N8N, it most likely will be, but we want to double check. And so we're just filtering by a couple keywords, right? Workflow, automation, integrate, etc. So if you start to look at code and the way ChatGPT outputs code and things like that. Like it gives you all of these comments, right? And so this is a great way for you to start to learn and understand what the code actually is, because it actually tells you the comments kind of of what each section does. Honestly, I don't know what a lot of this does, but I try to keep an eye on some of it. And so from there at the end, we started with 25 items and we actually only output 10 items because that's what fits our criteria. And then from there, we're just passing those posts into our first chat GPT module. And if we come back in here, you can see that we just want to analyze the automation, right? And we want to get a summary, identify the business potential, how unique it is, the target audience, and any key insights. And so there's basically always just two prompts, right? And if you need to know how to connect ChatGPT to N8N, I will leave a 90 second video up here that you can just watch and connect this super easy. So we're just messaging GPT-41 Mini. That's the name of the model. You can choose whatever model you want. You can choose from the long list of any of the ChatGPT models. This one is great for the task today. And there's basically usually two messages that I always use, a user message and a system message. And the system message is basically like, how do you want the system to behave? And the user message is what do you want it to do? So first, I'll actually usually like to start with a system message. So this just says you're an automation expert analyzing Reddit posts from RN8N. Identify unique automation builds with business potential. Your task is to return a single raw JSON array. Do not include multiple arrays. It's some technical stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Don't like include any explanation or preamble because sometimes it says like, here's your list of ideas. And like, we don't want ChatGPT to do that. And so basically then it just says here, it must follow this format, right? Title, upvote, summary, URL, assessment, which is just like a brief assessment, business potential. And you can go ahead and give it more context 
context if you want or more information on how you would define these things, but I kept this really high level for now. So basically it's just gonna choose if the business potential is high, medium, or low. It's gonna give it a uniqueness score between zero and 10. And it's gonna identify who the target audience is or who this automation could actually be sold to. And then it's just gonna give some key insights about the automation. And so up here is the user message. And you can think of the user message like your chat box in ChatGPT. So if you were gonna come into ChatGPT, you would type something like this in. And it just says, here's the post to analyze. And I basically fed it the title, the content, the upvotes, et cetera, et cetera. And the way to do that, if you're unfamiliar, is like you just create these categories yourself. And then you come over here and remember, these are the input fields and you have access to all of the nodes before, right? So here's the filter, here's the Reddit post node, and then before it is the schedule down here. But you would just drag the title into here, easy, right? Same thing, content, go to content, and you can just drag the content into here. And so now you have access to everything that came before. I'm just gonna delete this because we don't need it and we're good to go. And so if you quick run, this is basically what you get, right? And you get this long string of content. And so this is why the JSON view is actually helpful because you can see here that this actually gets cut off in the schema view. You can use the table view if you want. I think it's ugly and I, I personally have a hard time navigating it, but that's your call. So if I go into the JSON view, I can actually see the full output from this node. And you can see here it has the title of the post, has how many upvotes it has, and now it has the summary that ChatGPT created here, a humorous exaggerated post describing a no-code AI integrated NADM workflow that supposedly generate 250K quickly, et cetera, et cetera. The post that it came from is actually kind of funny, but obviously satirical. Anyway, it has the URL, it has an assessment of the automation, the business potential as medium, the uniqueness score, the target audience like startup founders, solopreneurs, digital marketers, et cetera, and then any key insights about the automation itself. Cool, so we basically have all of the information we need and we can see here that this outputs 10 items. So it basically performs this analysis for every single post that we grabbed. And from here, we're using another code note to just parse the analysis. Cause you can see here, we have this big block of content text. And I just want to be able to grab each field individually, right? So if I go to the schema view, you can see we just have content and it has everything in here. And I'll just do the same over here. So now this code node took this content here and basically just reformatted it so we can grab each one of these little pieces individually. We have separate access to the title. We have separate access to the number of upvotes. We have separate access to the summary, right? So it's just a nicer way to work with your data. And again, I literally just went into ChatGPT and I said, copy this. I have this data. I want to extract every single one of the fields, right? And then it just created this code for me and I run the code and now I get this nice clean output. From there, we pass everything to the AI enhancement generator. And again, we have the system message and the user message. So the system message, again, is really simple. You're a business automation consultant. Generate enhancement suggestions for the automation build you're provided. Provide specific business enhancements that could two to five X the value. So here's a list of the types of enhancements that could work. So are they business enhancements? Are they enterprise features? Are there additional revenue opportunities? Is there an implementation priority and success metrics, right? Focus on cost reduction, revenue generation, operational efficiency, and customer experience improvements. And then I just gave it a little something to remember. I said, remember, we're making suggestions on how to improve the actual automation, not create supplementary items. Cause I found that it was like telling me like, oh, like you could create like a best practices guidelines or something like that. And that's not actually what I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying to understand the automation that exists and figure out how I can make it better. I'll put no more than three of the best enhancement ideas that make sense for the type of automation it is. Use plain, simple language. Do not output any intros or outros. Cause again, we don't want any fluff. And then I just told it to generate three high impact, high value suggestions for how to improve the following. And then I basically just piped in those same categories, title, summary, et cetera, that are coming from over here, right? And what's cool is that these are basically called expressions, which is json.title. What it is, is basically just a link to something that came before. But if you look on the right side, it says result. And then this is what you're actually sending to ChatGPT. You don't have to type any of this in. This just happens automatically for you. And then you send this off again. And you, again, you get one big content block, but it gives you kind of these three ideas for enhancements, like implement dynamic AI powered personalization and cold emails or add automated multi-channel follow-up sequencing or things like that. So this was obviously for some sort of cold outreach automation. And these are ways that we can make what the original author created even better. So now we're just taking all of those results. And what we're doing is we're basically merging the results, which are the business enhancement ideas with the original fields that we have. So we're taking, you know, the title and the summary and all that, and we're merging them with the business enhancement ideas. And I'm just using combine and merge by position, right? And so the first Reddit post gets paired with the first bit set of business enhancements, and the second Reddit post gets paired with the second set of business enhancements. So we're just merging it by position. So now when we format the Slack message, again, I use ChatGPT to create this. It's basically taking all of the information that we have, all of the information about the post, all of the information about the business enhancements, and then it's just formatting it really nicely into a Slack message for us. And the last thing we do, we just have to connect this up to Slack. If you've never connected to Slack before, I will leave another video up here. It takes five minutes, a little bit more complex than hooking up to ChatGPT, but I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to connect Slack to NADN. So I've just connected this to the build room. Resource is send a message. And then I've just selected the channel by name, which is hashtag the build room, and then simple text message as the message type. And then I'm literally just dragging the message field from here over to here 
here and piping that in. And so then when you set the whole thing to run, you come back into Slack and you get this really nice output. And you can basically see all of the posts. You have access to the business potential, the uniqueness score. You can literally click on this and go directly to the post, which is pretty cool. In this case, you can see it says workflow code included. And this guy even says, here's the template. So if you actually want to go ahead and just grab the template for this end to end lead generation system with email personalization and LinkedIn, which sounds pretty cool, you can just go ahead and grab this system. But now if I look in here, I can see, okay, multi-channel outreach automation by integrating LinkedIn messaging, right? Or SMS, right? So text messages, or can I incorporate like lead scoring that dynamically updates based on the campaign outcome? So it's like, okay, is there a way that I can like not only get all of these leads, but actually score them to see how qualified they are. Or I could connect this to a CRM to basically track them through my lead pipeline. So basically this is just a way to take existing systems that you already know will perform well, right? This has 158 upvotes, right? So we know that people like this, they're interested in this, right? So if you were to build this system and make it better, you know you're going to have an audience for it. If you want to get access to the Reddit intelligence system, I'll leave a link in the description where you can download the workflow today. And if you're interested in social media automation, check out this video up here where I show you how to automate all of your LinkedIn content. I'll see you over there.